Configure IPv6 addresses on network devices. Use this topology. Use the router 4321 on packet tracer. Is R1. Two PCs. PCA. And PCB. Now, for switch, you can use the 2960 switch. The 2960 switch uh, does not support IPv6, only IPv4. So, I prefer to use the switch 3650, not 3560. Use 3650. And this uh, and this switch will be as one. So the let the the let the twenty nine sixty in this case. Now we use the copper straight through cable to connect from gigabit 000 to PCB and from gigabit 001 uh, to an interface on S1. But S1 does not have fast Ethernet interfaces, only gigabit interfaces and select gigabit 105 and the connection from S1 to PCA will use gigabit 106 to PCA this is the addressing table You will configure hosts and device interfaces with IPv6 addresses. The routers used with CCNA Hanson Labs are Cisco 4221 with Cisco IOS XE release 16.94 Universal K9 image. The switches used in these labs are Cisco Catalyst 2960 with Cisco IOS release 1522 LAN base K9 image. Other router switches and Cisco iOS versions can be used depending on the model and Cisco iOS version. The commands available and the output produced may vary from what is shown in the labs. Make sure that the routers and switchers have been erased and have no startup configurations. If you are unsure, contact your instructor. The default 2960 switch database manager SDM template does not support IPv6. It may be necessary to issue the command SDM preferred dual IPv4 and IPv6 default to enable IPv6 addressing before applying an IPv6 address to the VLAN1 switch virtual interface. The default BIOS template used by Switch Database Manager SDM does not provide IPv6 address capabilities. Verify that SDM is using either dual IPv4 and IPv6 template or the LAN based routing template. The new template will be used after reboot. On privilege exec configuration mode, enter show SDM preferred to verify the current configuration. And access the global configuration mode using the configure terminal command. Then on global configuration mode, 
use this command sdm prefer dual IPv4 and IPv6 default. Finally, end and reload to apply changes. Required resources for a real app. One router, one switch, two PCs, console cables, Ethernet cables. The gigabit Ethernet interfaces on Cisco 4221 routers are auto sensing, and an Ethernet straight through cable may be used between the router and PCB. If using another model Cisco router, it may be necessary to use Ethernet crossover cable. Cable the network and configure basic router and switch settings. Configure the router. Okay, and use the console cable to connect from RS232 port from PCB to console port on router R1. And on PCB, access the, the desktop. Use the terminal, then OK, enter. Uh, would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No, enter and assign the host name and configure basic basic device settings. Now you are on user exit mode. Access the privilege exit mode with the enable command. And go to global configuration mode using the configure terminal command. Set the host name. This is R1. Host name R1. Another basic configurations were made in previous labs. So I will only configure the host name. Configure the switch. Okay, uh, first of all, click on the switch. And this switch needs the power supply. Okay. Uh, now can be used. So use a console cable from the RS232 port on PCA to connect the console port on S1. So access PCA and use the terminal, enter. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No, enter. Enable command, confi configure terminal command, then set the host name, host name is one. Configure IPv6 address manually. Assign the IPv6 addresses to Ethernet interfaces on R1. Okay, on R1. Assign IPv6 global unicast addresses listed in the addressing table to both Ethernet interfaces on R1. Use this table and both are global unicast IPv6 addresses. So access PCB and configure first of all gigabit 000 and set the IPv6 address to 001 db8 ACAD A column column one prefix 64. Don't forget to enable that interface, no shutdown. 
in configure gigabit 001. According to the addressing table, will be 1 colon colon 1, prefix 64. No shutdown. Okay, now both interfaces on green. Verify that the correct IPv6 unicast address is assigned to each interface. Okay, and use the end command to go from interface configuration mode to privilege Excel configuration mode. Then verify. For example, use this command show IPv6 interface brief. Show IPv6 interface brief. And now, gigabit 00, zero this is the global unicast address, and this is the link local address. Link local address automatically assigned. Gigabit 001, link local address, and global unicast address. The link local address, FE80, displayed is based on EUI64 addressing, which automatically uses the interface media access control MAC address to create a 128-bit IPv6 link link local address. For example, uh, how it works in uh, gigabit 00, zero verify show interface gigabit 0, zero, zero and look the this is the MAC address. Now you can see uh, Zero zero, zero zero is changed to zero two. Uh, zero one here, zero one. Sixty four, sixty four. Add FFFE, and then continue with E four, E four here, eight seven zero one, eight seven zero one. Very easy. Uh, to get the link local address to match the global unicast address on the interface, manually enter the link local addresses on each of the Ethernet interfaces on R1. Okay, go to global configuration mode to configure terminal command and go to interface configuration mode with the interface gigabit 000, zero, zero command. And set the IPv6 address F80 column column one link local. So why I'm using FE80 column column one? because PCs are using the link local address as the default gateway. They are, uh, they are not using global unicast addresses as the default gateway. They are using the link local addresses. The link local address, uh, for, for example, for PCA is FE80. And the default gateway for PCA is gigabit 001. This interface, gigabit 001 is the default gateway for PCA. And the address, the default gateway for PCA is FE80 column column one. This is a link local address. So gigabit 001 should have the link local address configure it to FE80 column column one. The same case for PCB. PCB has the default gateway FE80 column column one. 
the default gateway for PCB is gigabit 000, and should have the address FE80 column column one. So configure FE80 column column one on gigabit 000 and on gigabit 001. Link local gigabit 001, the same link local address. Not problem if they are the same. So they are only relevant in the local link. Each router interface belongs to a separate network. Packets with a link local address never leave the local network. Therefore, you can use the same link local address on both interfaces. Use a command of your choice to verify that the link local address has been changed to FEA01. Okay, go to privilege exit mode with end command, then repeat the show IPv6 interface brief command. And now you can see the link local address has changed. Which two multicast groups have been assigned to interface gigabit 00, gigabit 000? Use the following command show IPv6 interface gigabit 000. You can see the link local address, the global unicast address, but also the group addresses FF021 and FF021, FF001. These are multicast addresses. This is the all nodes multicast group FF02 column column one. And this another is the, the solicited nodes multicast group FF02 column column one, column FF, zero zero, column one. Enable IPv6 routing on R1. On PCB command prompt, enter ipconfig command to examine IPv6 addresses information assigned to the PC interface. Okay, and close the terminal and open the command prompt on PCB and ipconfig to verify uh, it has the link local IPv6 address or okay on pocket tracer ipconfig does not show the IPv6 global unicast address. Okay, but and on a real PC, on a real Windows PC, ipconfig should show the global unicast addresses. But on Pocket Tracer, try this IPv6 config or ipconfig6. or IPv6 config, IPv6 config. Okay, this is the command IPv6 config. And remember, this command only works on, um, on packet tracer. Okay, um, on a real Windows PC, IP config should, should show a global unicast IPv6 addresses. Okay, but on Packet Tracer, I'm using IPv6 config command to show the global unicast address. Has an IPv6 unicast address been assigned to the network interface card NIC on PCB? The answer is no.
enable IPv6 routing on R1. So use the console using the terminal and go to global configuration mode using the configure terminal command and IPv6 unicast unicast routing to enable the IPv6 routing. Use a command to verify the new multicast group are assigned to interface gigabit 000. Okay. You are on global configuration mode, go to privilege exit mode with exit command or end command and uh, use the show IPv6 interface gigabit 000 command to verify that. Okay, uh, now you will have an, an additional group address. And it's this FF02 column column 2. Notice that the old router multicast group FF02 column column 2 now appears for interface gigabit 000. This will allow the PCs to obtain their IP address and the full gateway information automatically using a stateless address auto configuration SLAAC. This uh, new group of addresses and this host use a stateless auto config for addresses. Now that R1 is part of the or router multicast group FF022 reissue ipconfig command on PCB and examine the IPv6 address information. We close this and open command prompt on PCB. <clears throat> Use the ipconfig command on a real window PC. But Packet Tracer will not show the global unicast address, so only on Packet Tracer use IPv6 config command. But still, I don't have the global unicast address. You need to do the following um, choose auto config, and you will obtain an IP address and the file gateway information automatically using stateless address auto configuration SLAAC. Now verify again on common prompt with ipconfig or ipv6 config. Now you have the global unicast address, the default gateway. Why did PCB receive a global routing prefix and subnet ID that you configured on R1? On R1, all IPv6 interfaces are now part of the all router multicast group, FF02 column column 2. This allows it to send router advertisement, RA messages with the global network address and subnet ID information to all nodes on the LAN. Notice that R1 also send the link local address FP80 column column 1 as the default gateway. The PCs will receive their IPv6 addresses and the default gateway via SLAAC as long as the advertised prefix length is 64 bits. Assign IPv6 addresses to the management interface, switch virtual interface on S1. Assign the IPv6 address for S1. Also assign a link local address for this interface. Go to addressing table and on interface VLAN1 set this global unicast address with prefix 64. Go to the console of PCA. Uh, go to the console of S1 from PCA. 
enter enable to go to privilege exec mode command config your terminal or simply config conf terminal command to go the global configuration mode and enter to interface VLAN 1 and set the IPv6 address IPv6 address 2001 db8 ACAD column 1 column B okay ACAD column 1 column column B prefix 64 this address and this prefix enter now the link local address IPv6 address FE80 column column um, you can use any uh, link local address for example B uh, link local and don't forget to enable this interface with the no shutdown command Use a command of your choice to verify. Okay, use the end command to go the privilege action mode. Use the show IPv6 interface VLAN 1. So you can see the global unicast address, the subnet the link local address the group addresses assign I assign a static IPv6 addresses to the PCs open the Ethernet properties window for each PC and assign IPv6 addressing okay for example on PCA close the terminal open the IP configuration and use the addressing table to configure this and down here quam column column three prefix 64 don't forget the the forget way fe80 column column one Okay, close this. Um, PCB, close the terminal and go to IP configuration. Change the auto configuration to static and use the A colon column 3 prefix 64 IPv6 gateway FE80 colon colon 1. Okay, then close this. Use a command of your choice to verify that. PCA, command prompt. On a real Windows PC, use the ipconfig command, but on Packet Tracer, IPv6 config command. Now you can verify the global unicast address and the default gateway same way on PCB use the IP config command on real Windows PC with on packet tracer IPv6 config you can see the global unicast and the full gateway verify both PCs have the correct IPv6 address information each PC should have two global IPv6 addresses, one a static and one a Slack. Okay, and on a real Windows PC, you will see this. Um, each PC should have two global IPv6 addresses, one a static and one a Slack. You will see this only on a real Windows PC. On a packet tracer PC, if you enter ipconfig command 
you will not see the global unicast address, but using IPv6 config command, you only will see the only one global unicast address. On a real Windows PC, you can see more than one global unicast address. Verify end-to-end -end connectivity. From PCA ping FE801. This is the link locker address assigned to gigabit 001 on R1. Okay, from PCA ping this interface gigabit 001 link local address. Okay, from PCA ping the it's the default gateway. Success. Ping the S1 management interface from PCA. Okay, remember the this is the global unicast address. Okay, uh, ping two zero zero one. DB8, ACAD1, column, column B. Success. Or also the link local address on the on the switch, FE80, column, column B. Also success. Use the tracer command on PCA to verify that you have end-to-end -to -end connectivity to PCB. Okay, first of all, ping to PCB. The IP address on PCB is this. Uh, this. 2001 DB8 ACADA column column 3. Success. And use tracer. To verify. The end-to-end -end connectivity, they are two hops. The first hop is the IP address of interface gigabit 001 on R1. And the second hop is the interface card of PCB. From PCB ping PCA. Okay, from PCB ping PC PCA, the IP, the global unicast address on PCA is this. Okay, do not include the prefix success. From PCB, ping the link local address for gigabit 000 on R1. Okay, the interface, the link local address of the, it's the default gateway. PCB, ping. P80 column column one. Success. The link local address of gigabit 000. It's the full gateway. If end to end connectivity is not established, troubleshoot your IPv6 address assignments to verify that you entered the addresses correctly on all devices. Why can the same link local address FE80 column column one be assigned? to both Ethernet interfaces on R1. Link local packets never leave the local network. So the same link local address can be used on an interface associated to a different local network. Why is the subnet ID of the IPv6 unicast address 2001db8acad a A A A A one two three four prefix sixty four. Okay, this is the address, and is compressed. Decompress this address. You have one, two, three, four, five sections here five sections and that means you have three sections of zeros here on column column so add this
Now, this is the decompressed IPv6 address. And you have a prefix of 64. 16 plus 16, 32 plus 16, 48 plus 16, 64. This is the portion for network, and this is the portion for host. So the subnet ID is this, zero or four zeros. The fourth step is the subnet ID of an IPv6 address with a prefix of 64. In the example, the fourth step contains all zeros and the IPv6 omitting all zero segment rule is using the double column to depict the subnet ID and the first two stats of the interface ID. This is why the subnet of the global unicast address of 2001 ACAD column column A A A A column 1234 prefix 64 is 2001 DBA ACAD column column 64 is this. This is the subnet. Okay, this will be the subnet, or also can be represented on the compressed version. It's the same. Both are the same. These are the subnet, and this is the subnet ID. Thank you.